what we're looking at right now would take a year and a half by itself maintaining the filter properly and of course maintaining the cleanliness of the inside portion of the pond with vacuuming accordingly. A year and a half has happened in four months. Hey there folks, Christian here and today is May the 28th of 2015. Uh, looking down into the pond, things are getting clearer and clearer by the week. Uh, you can see a vibrance in the color of the fish. Well, I can. I don't know if the video is picking that up. Uh, you can clearly see the bottom pipe for the suction to go to the pump. Plant life still growing really, really well. I actually cut that down and uh, in the matter of a few days it's grown right back up. So uh, quite happy about that and what's really cool is that the nitrite and nitrate and everything that would otherwise really go in and feed plants are zero. I mean I'm sure the nitrogen cycles working as the koi produce ammonia as they respirate and lay waste into the water column. That goes through the biofilter, gets converted to nitrite, and then Nitrobacter makes the nitrate, and then the plants suck it up. But uh, I'm registering zero, zero, zero on all the bad stuff. And for a new pond, that's really fantastic. And for the water to be where it's at, really, really exceptional. Uh, systems that are new, which this one is, it has not even been filled with new water for four months. Uh, it's already cycled through its new pond syndrome. Everything is where it should be as far as microorganisms and all the macroorganisms that balance out a pond. You know, it all starts with uh, bacteria, microbes, crustaceans, algae. Uh, everything is doing really, really quite well in here. I wanted to take some night video uh, because you can tell absolutely how clear this water is now at nighttime, despite my not running a polishing filter. Again, I run only a biological filter which has 20 millimeter sized uh, media inside of it. New algae uh, seems to be promoting every microcosm in the water colony. Everything from bacteria to all the little copepods, rotifera, and uh, also enzymes to chomp up organic waste. Uh, again, this pond is only under four months old, so water typically in a recirculating pond takes three years to fully mature. And at what I'm looking toward now in the water column, I would say a year and a half would be the natural accumulation to come forth to present what we're looking at right now. So new algae effectively helped this system go from its water bloom of plankton algae uh, to a clear state that is healthy, supporting the proper amounts of beneficial gram-positive bacteria, keeping the gram-negative bacteria in very, very low concentrations. When I test for those, they do not even show up, as do the nitrates not show up, and nitrite does not show up. KH and GH, optimal levels. And, uh, you know, a year and a half of waiting created in four months by new algae. So in other words, what we're looking at right now would take a year and a half by itself maintaining the filter properly and of course maintaining the cleanliness of the inside portion of the pond with vacuuming accordingly. A year and a half uh, has happened in four months. I really couldn't be happier. I'm, as a organic water specialist, I, I'm kind of shocked, but uh, you know, diatoms are a strong presence in the water. They're a strong force for doing things. And uh, so in a way, it's I kind of absorb it. But on the other hand, still, I'm in shock. So I'll come back as things change, maybe in another two weeks, 
we'll see where things are.